Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're reacting to the woman who's addicted to drinking human blood. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I'm gonna feel throughout this video because whenever I see blood, I feel sick. So let's see if I faint or not. My name is Michelle. I am 29 years old. I am a tattoo artist and I am addicted to drinking animal blood. But why? I've got one question and it's why. How can you go through life and get addicted to drinking blood? I've got so many questions. First of all, where did she first drink blood? It's not like she's gonna go up to an animal, slit its throat and then like suck in its neck. She's literally a real life vampire. Blood is as important as water to me. I like to drink blood when I'm reading, when I'm relaxing, when I'm watching TV. See, it's probably so normal to her, but to me, I'm so freaked out. What about blood is she like attracted to? What about it does she like? I'm not gonna lie, she looks like a vampire and she's acting like one. It's never a bad time for me to drink blood. Michelle has been addicted to drinking animal blood for the past 10 years. I'm sorry, I literally can't look at it. Like if I look like I'm looking in the opposite direction, it's because I can't look at the screen. Blood makes me feel ill. So she She's drinking animal blood. I thought she was drinking human blood. Is this like a weird kink where she starts on animal blood and then she moves to like human blood? I really hope it isn't. She drinks seven liters a week to satisfy her cravings. Seven liters a week? Wait a minute, that is a lot of blood. So she's basically drinking hundreds of liters a year. Oh my God, that cannot be healthy. Why is she drinking the blood? And also where is she getting the blood? Like is she slaughtering a load of animals? And can't start her day without a sip. So she literally cannot start her day without a sip of blood. I'm so scared of her. Like I'm telling you right now, she definitely worships the devil. This woman is like a Satanist or like a satanic person. She's deaf who eating children. I wake up in the morning, I pour it into my coffee cup. I drink it. I get energized. I like to cook with blood. Oh, come on. As if drinking it was bad enough, she cooks with it. So you know how people cook up food and maybe put in like a bit of tomato soup or like, I don't know, some cream for the stir fry. She literally puts animal blood in her food. Wouldn't animal blood give you like metal? Like something about this is so sketchy. I don't like it. I like to make it in soup. I like to cook it with stir fry. When I make Bloody Marys, I use vodka hot sauce and then I add the final touch. I just can't believe this is real. Like, what has went wrong in her life for her to be acting like this? This is just so not right. I'm telling you right now, I know for a fact the TLC cameraman is absolutely terrified. When Michelle initially told me that she drank blood, Obviously, I was shocked. Oh, well, of course you would be. How's he gonna sit there and be like, yeah, I was shocked. Every normal person would be shocked that your best friend is drinking blood. Who does this? Nobody does this. This is literally taking gothic and vampire to the next level. Michelle has consumed nearly 5,000 liters of blood since her addiction began. You are having a laugh. 5,000 liters? How many liters of water are you meant to drink a day? I swear you're meant to drink like one liter or something like that. So you're telling me she's been drinking it for 10 years. Nah, that's not normal. She's literally gonna die or maybe she's an alien. Maybe Michelle knows something that we don't know. That's enough blood to fill a bath 23 times. Yeah, that is sketchy. Michelle, sweetie, should not be drinking that amount of blood. Yet again, where is she getting the blood? I know absolutely no place where I'd be able to get that amount of animal blood. I prefer pig's blood to beef blood because I prefer the gaminess. Oh, don't tell the vegans and vegetarians that, sweetheart. They're gonna burn down your house. Looking at you, you already look like an evil person, so don't give them another reason to burn your house down because you're drinking blood. That makes me feel really weird. I kind of want to go vegan and vegetarian now. I just couldn't imagine drinking blood out of a pig. It's a little bit more salty than the beef blood. I've just remembered the blood does have a taste and blood does have a smell. So her home must really stink of blood. Yet again, I want to know where this addiction began. Like she needs serious help. This isn't normal. The consistency is like that of wine. It's just slightly thicker. I've never drank wine, so I don't know what it tastes like and I don't want to know what it tastes like. From now on, if I ever drink red wine, I'm going to think of it tasting like pig's blood. Oh, I just can't get over the fact that she actually drinks it. And it doesn't taste like wine, but it definitely has the same ambiance. Yeah, it like has the same ambiance of like pig's blood because like I love drinking pig's blood. She definitely sacrifices chickens in her back garden. It's actually quite scary that people actually do this. Like I know in like weird countries they do it. Okay, ignore how I said weird countries to me. It's weird, like I don't agree with drinking blood. After hiding her dark obsession, 
she's finally ready to reveal the truth. My mother is very important to me in my life. I love her dearly. And hopefully she still loves and supports me. Well, I mean, I don't know if she's gonna necessarily support you, but I'm sure she'll still love you. I mean, if I told my mum I was addicted to drinking blood, she'd probably move out because she'd think I'd try to drink her blood next. Um, I had something that I wanted to tell you. Why do you have that look on your face? Uh. How would you even tell your parents that? Like, that makes no sense whatsoever. Her mom's literally just walked into a room with a load of cameras and her daughter's about to tell her something big. Oh my god, I can't get over this. Like, this is actually so bizarre. Alright, I'm just gonna say it. Mom, I... I drank blood. Oh my god, the mum is like, what the fuck? I know in this video we're kind of making fun of her and like laughing at her, but this is actually quite serious. This isn't normal to me anyways. Like, I don't know if it would be healthy. Maybe it is. I guess if it's healthy and she's not putting her body at risk, it's fine. But it's still a bit freaky. You're kidding, I... No. Why does the mum look like she's about to cry? The mum probably thinks that she's giving birth to Satan. She's like, you're definitely evil. The mum literally looked like she was about to drop to the floor and like start vibrating and like crying. Why is she crying? Mom. Wait, I'm sorry. Is this meant to be emotional? Is this like deep? Why is she crying? Your daughter only drinks blood. Oh god, after saying that, that doesn't really sound good, does it? I mean, her daughter does drink blood. But, like, I didn't expect her to cry. I'd expect her to be more, like, shocked. Why would you do that? I just do. I can't help it. I've done it for years. I've done it for a really long time. The mom looks like she's about to faint. I'm sorry, I can't take this serious. I hope they're actors. I mean, it's TLC, so TLC does come up with some really weird videos. But, like, I don't know why the mom's crying. Why? Because I like it. I've always really liked it. I have an affinity for it. How, my, how often do you do that? Oh, God, her mom's gonna have a stroke whenever she finds out she's trying to go for 5,000 liters. I feel bad for the poor mom. Like, think of it. The daughter's literally drinking the blood. The blood's the same color as the mom's hair. Pretty often. Did you see that? The daughter tried to help the mum and the mum literally leant backwards. She's like, get away from me. That poor mum, like, she is gonna have a weird time, isn't she? Imagine you go to your child's house and they literally tell you they can't stop drinking blood. You'd be so shocked. And how does one acquire that kind of taste? I wish I knew. I don't know. I mean, I wish we knew as well, so it means I knew not to do that. This is just such a weird video. Like, ew. Isn't there, like, a lot of iron in blood? I bet you her iron levels are really good. Instead of drinking the blood, she should get it injected into her face. Isn't there something called, like, a vampire facial? Her skin looks pretty good, so she should definitely use that blood for vampire facials. I know it's there, and it's always been there. You need to know that I am safe. As safe as I can be with what I do, though. How are you going to turn around and say to your mum, I'm safe, I'm safe drinking blood? She's not going to believe that. I'm sorry, no mother is going to sit there and believe that you're safe drinking animal blood. Especially 5,000 liters. I've made sure that people had blood tests prior. There's been a couple of times if somebody didn't have a blood test. So what do people do? Cut their arm and put it in a cup for you or are you biting people? As if she's actually biting people. The mom thinks she's giving birth to a vampire. Wait, so she said she gets people to check their blood before she drinks it. So she's also drinking human blood. Okay, that makes me feel so ill. Like, I feel sick. I can't stand blood. If I ever get a cut and I see blood, I literally nearly pass out. I don't touch anybody. They do it however they want to do it. They extract it however they want. That's disgusting. It's weird, even for you, it's weird. It's weird, even for you, it's weird. So obviously this daughter's done a few weird things in her lifetime. I wanna sit down with the mom and interview her because by the sound of it, she's got a lot of stories to tell us. It's like when I took you, get your lip pierced and I told you then that 
this is not ever something I thought I'd be doing with my daughter. Well, this certainly isn't. How is the mum compare getting a lip piercing or drinking blood? That's such a typical mum thing. Like, mums will take you to get one piercing or one tattoo and think you're gonna cover your whole body in piercings and tattoos. I mean, in her case, she ended up drinking blood, so maybe it would have been best if she didn't get the piercing. Even for you, it's just weird. I really don't think it's that weird. I've been doing it for years. But don't you think you should go to a doctor and get a checkup? Forget a doctor, she needs to go to a therapist. She needs therapy, it's not normal to be sitting there drinking blood. That mum is definitely gonna lock her doors and take her knives away because she knows she's next, like she knows she's about to get butchered. Discuss it with the doctor. I know what the doctor's gonna say. I know what other people think about what I do. I know everybody just sees the downsides and being worried about it. What positives of drinking human blood is there? There's literally none. Isn't that a way you could get an STD? Like, you could literally get HIV or AIDS for, like, their blood. She needs to be very careful because she's going to do damage to herself. Uh, it's just not safe. That's life. That's risky, Mom. I'm sorry, don't compare life and being risky to drinking blood. Being risky is going up a mountain and hiking it. Not sitting there and drinking pints of people's blood. I would rather not see a doctor, but for the physicality aspects of it and for my mother's sake, it'll just put her mind at ease. Doesn't mean it's gonna change anything that I do. Imagine if she finds out she's got an STD or a real problem. She's not gonna change, like she's not gonna stop drinking blood. That's so sad, like I feel like something definitely happened to her whenever she was younger. Maybe she like fell over and cut her leg and licked it to like wind up herself. And ever since then she's loved the taste of blood. Oh, uh, you consume blood. Uh, I do. Is this human blood, animal blood? Um, it's actually both. Uh, tell me which animals are you uh, consuming the blood of? It's, it is actually most frequently pig blood, sometimes um, beef blood, and when I can, human blood. That poor doctor, like that poor doctor's gonna have to go to a therapist after this little interview they're having. Do you reckon he's ever came across somebody who's addicted to drinking blood? I mean, this is the first woman I've ever heard he does it. Tell me that you're consuming human blood. Now, where does this blood come from? Is it tested for important pathogens? I drink the blood straight from them. Oh, absolutely not. She's literally a vampire. Nah, I can't. This is making me feel so ill. Like, I'm actually starting to feel lightheaded. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it through this video. I either know them very well and have their word, or I actually every now and then do get to see proof of it. When did you start this habit? I actually started doing it when I was younger. I'd say when I was in my mid-teens. Mid-teens? Does that mean like a younger teenager? That means like a child. So she's been drinking blood since she's been like 15. Whose blood was she drinking at the age of 15? She better not have been going to old men's houses. I'm telling you that right now. What influenced you to consume blood? Um, I guess just a fascination with it. I just, I was always as far back as I could remember fascinated with blood. So it's been something she's basically been obsessed with her whole life. She's always been fascinated with it. Imagine if you like give birth to a child and they were like obsessed with like blood and like guns and knives. Would you be scared? Cause like if she's drinking blood, what's like the gun addict gonna do? Or like the knife addict? Are they gonna go and knife a couple of people off? And then once I tasted it for the first time, just kind of went with it. Craved it. No. uh... So this is really more of a fascination versus a, a, some cultural belief or a medicinal use. He's basically asking her, are you in a cult that drinks people's blood? The majority of people are obsessed with fast food and crave fast food. This woman craves human blood. Uh, I think honestly, my blood drinking has a lot to do with um, just my craving. So how much blood do you consume on a daily basis? On a daily basis, I consume whatever I have. Okay. Oh my god, so think of it, she's literally going out places every single day to get blood. That's kind of weird, like how many people do you think she knows will give up their blood? Don't let her near a blood bank or like somewhere that people donate blood. She'll drink it all. Now, tell me if you've had any serious medical uh, afflictions, conditions, uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease. I've never really had too many medical problems. I know that uh, once upon a time they said that I was anemic. Anemic is when you're like really white. 
I kind of look anemic like I'm literally so white. Would blood help anemic people? Oh my god, now that I'm speaking about it, I'm starting to feel really ill. I need to stop speaking about it. This is the first time I've ever encountered anybody consuming blood. So if Michelle does continue the long-term risk of developing viral infections, which can be life-threatening, such as HIV and hepatitis, are significant. Why should biting somebody stop biting people? Oh my god, now I can't look at that. Sorry, I had to scroll down. She's literally sat there sucking the blood out of somebody's arm. She's literally like a werewolf and a vampire. Her poor mum, like her mum's gonna watch this and be so freaked out. The results of your tests are back, and I'm happy to say that uh, the uh, viral studies, which included the hepatitis and HIV, were negative. Alicia's negative for HIV and AIDS and all them diseases. I'm surprised because she's drinking people's blood. Additionally, I want to talk to you about the iron studies. You are anemic as you uh, claimed. There are issues and concerns that I have that I would like to discuss with you. One has to do with microorganisms, namely viral infections uh, in terms of consumption of, of human blood. Oh my god, oh, I'm feeling ill. I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to end this video here. I'm starting to feel ill. I can't watch stuff like that. All right guys, that's the end of the video. I literally feel like I'm about to pass out and die. If you enjoyed this video, press that big red subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one.